Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So in the last episode we did Fiona's Hero Quest and we have now have access to Colony Moo. And there are a couple strings of side quests that are available in this colony. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the very first one. So you really don't remember a thing from before you got attacked? I don't even remember being attacked. That's just terrifying to think about. Losing your memory. You think Fiona's okay? It's a real cause for concern that she won't tell us anything. Colony Moo's future. Hey, now we have information to discuss. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about it. Colony Moo's Shall future. Our heads together on this? Hey, everybody. There's something I wanted to talk to you all about. A lot of people in Colony Moo still seem worried, even though it's been liberated. What can I do to lift everyone's spirits again? Do you have any ideas? I'm not surprised they're feeling shaken after a traumatic sequence of events like that. What about you, Fiona? Are you okay? You're not stressing yourself out, are you? I have to be okay. If I look like I'm down, everyone else will feel down too. That definitely sounds like stressing yourself out to me. I know Tala said this already, but you can tell us anything, okay? There must be stuff that's too tough to discuss with people in the colony. I was just gonna mention that. You still haven't told your colony about the console's true identity, have you? I thought it'd be better not to tell them. Aw, Fifi. Besides, I just want to think about the future from now on. I want everyone to feel truly happy that we survived together, or excited for tomorrow. I want to bring those feelings back for everyone, to make their sadness disappear. Well then, isn't it obvious what you need to do? In Colony Moo, everyone works together as one. Isn't that what you all say? Why don't you try talking to the colony about what to do next, Fifi? I'm... I'm not sure that would pan out. We could come with you. Would you like that? Ah, yes please. We can ask for Dala's cooperation too, since he knows all about the situation. Oh, but one more thing. Is it okay if I call you Senny? Who, me? For sure. Hey, how come only she gets a nickname? Because she also looks kind of young for her age. I'm <laughs> just reading it. You want one too? How about Lan Lan? Lan Lan? <laughs> that suits you so well, Lan Lan. Guess you're Lan Lan now. You love really wind me up. <laughs> alright, alright. Enough with the nicknames. Let's get started. Connie Moon needs us. I'm sure Tala will help us out. Unease. Okay, Talo, where are you? Okay, found Talo. Hello. So, you want to discuss it with everyone? Not just the squad leaders. Mm-hmm. I want to handle this properly, since this is such an important issue. I see. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's get a massage message out. I almost said massage. Wait, we might worry everyone if we gather them so suddenly. Senny's right. Let's go and invite them one by one, face to face. That way we can keep an eye on things as well. Oh, sure. In that case, let's split up. Let's say we each take four people. How about we have you speak to Nico, Lotus, Tusro, and Gugu? Gotcha. I'll send everyone locations to your iris. Then let's meet up in the square. Got it. Thank you, Tallo. Oh, please. I barely did anything. Thank you for coming to me for help. No problemo. Okay, so the nearest oh, I'm people... I'm so nervous. What are you You're so nervous me about? Nervous too. <laughs> what are you so nervous about, y'all? Alright, I'm just gonna follow this little map. Oh, that smells gorgeous. That it does. Hey, Lotus. Hey, Fiona. Sorry, I'm still trying to brainstorm today's menu. Oh, we're meeting in the square, are we? I guess I guess should go, too. Well, all right, then. I wonder what this is all about. I'll see you there. Okay, we got Lotus. There's the next person over here. Nico. Oh, well, 
I if it is a Fifi? How kind of you to come and see little Nico. By which I mean me. We're meeting in the square? You making some kind of announcement? Got it! Just let Nico get ready and she'll meet you there shortly. Again, I mean myself. Okay, two more. Oh, everyone here is so small and cute. Look at them all. There's a couple of older people, like this person. Not very much. Oh. <gasps> okay. Hello there. Tussor? Tussro? Tussro? We're meeting at the square. Got it. I'll see you there. I wonder what it's about. Kind of exciting for some reason. We've made some new friends. Alright, and then the last person who's like way over here. Okay, we went ahead and found Gugu. Meme? Eaton Square? Okay, Gugu, see you there. Alright, and that is everyone, so let's go ahead into the square. Okay, here we are at the square. Looks like everyone's here. I'm sorry for the short notice. I know you all must be a little on edge right now. That's actually what I want to talk about. I've been wondering how to raise moral around here. Does anyone have any ideas? I don't really mind. I'm happy to just follow your instructions. It's easy to overthink things when you get so much free time so suddenly. You just want my instructions? Any other ideas? Come on, anybody! I was like, nope. You got nothing, really. Let's see. Nico, aka me, wants to get us some more provisions. Ah, and that's why you're in charge of the warehouse. Always looking for more food. Come to think of it, didn't the console used to do that for us before? Now we have to take care of that stuff all by ourselves, probably. Oh, the console. <laughs> uh-huh. Hildy, please don't cry. It's alright, Hilda Mary. The worst is over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. How about we help Nico out and make today's dinner and a, a, magnific a magnificent feast? Oh, can we? That sounds great. Let's do. Google feel ready to go. You're so cute when you're excited, Goo. Sounds like we're all gathering food then. Bring it back here if you find anything. Got it. Let's do this. Hey, we need to decide who's doing what. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is another fetch quest, I think. I want to gather some ingredients that the others might not be able to find. You want a bit of a challenge, you mean? I'm game in it. I hope we catch some fish. There's some absolutely great fishing to be d found around Migro Rosary. Yeah, let's get a whole bunch and knock everyone's socks off. Time to knock everyone's socks off, as they friends. say. Okay, these are all gonna be places I need Time to fast travel to, I think. Time to fish. Oh, <laughs> Alright, so I just went ahead and came to this area, fight. Bought some of these little fishies and got five pieces of the meat that was necessary. So let's just go ahead to the other areas and get the required materials. Okay, it. now came to this area and fought a bunch of... That monster, the thing with the pink thing on its back. Over here, and then now we just have one last little one to collect. Okay, almost done. There we go. Alright, went ahead and got the last item. The now let's go ahead and head to the Colony Move viewing deck. Okay, here we are at the viewing deck. Hey, Fifi, it looks like everyone's back now. Thanks, Kildikins. You've got a good eye. <laughs> so, now what? Who's going first? Why don't we just go together? I don't want to get stressed out. It's our turkey tallow. No turk in head this time. You're just full of these Turkin related digs, aren't you? Wanna give us our cue, Fifi? Okay, sure. Ready, everyone? 
Let's go. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot. Only three. I can't believe everyone's gone fishing. No, that's a funny coincidence. Everyone loved fish so much. People here, truly people of Goo Goo. This is exactly the kind of thing that could lift everyone's spirits. Everyone had the same idea. Amazing. I know, I can't believe it. I guess today's dinner is gonna be a total fish jamboree. We're having a jamboree? Huh? What's a jamboree? It's when everyone eats some tasty grub and has a ton of fun together. Irma taught us about it. She's always told us to take breaks and have fun once in a while. Having a jamboree always brings everyone closer together. I simply love them. Throwing a party is fine and all. But don't you think we should work on being a bit more organized before that? That's why I said we should decide who does what, but you'd already gone by then. Hey, don't get mad at him. He was right. He was right. He was right. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, like to follow the beat from your drum sometimes. You have to make a little compromises to work together with everyone sometimes. He's right. Don't get mad. Are you saying that it's my fault? That's not what I said. Yes, you did. You think you're so much better just because Fiona came to you for help and... Hey, take it easy, you two. I think you better leave it there. Oh dear. What's going on? Nothing. I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna eat alone today. Hey, that wasn't like you, Talolu. What? Don't get mad at him! He was right! Everyone, you need it all to distribute the jobs. But everyone already went. Well, it's our part of the job. It looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Irma's left pretty some, some pretty big shoes to fill. Can't leave them empty. Talolu? Don't worry. It won't happen next time. I'm sorry for worrying you. Is that lad gonna be okay? And what did he mean by next time? Hmm. Is there gonna be a follow-up quest? Oh, yeah. That's the end of Unease. There's probably a follow-up quest for this. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Okay, let's find the new one. Okay, now for this next follow-up quest, we have some information to listen to. Let's get a taste of lo- Ooh. They make you ready to take on everything. Hey, okay, delicious cooking. That's a new topic. Okay. There should be another one somewhere around here. All right, here we go. Here's some more information. Tal has been working himself to the bone. He wasn't like this before, was he? Could it be because Irma's gone now? You think? He feels like he has to prove himself as our new lieutenant. Noah. Hello's <laughs> reputation. Okay, let's find the next one. Alright, here we go for the next bit of information. Ooh. Tell us going out with such a condescending attitude lately. I know the guy's really into ordering us around, huh? I mean, it didn't come off that way to me. Yeah, I could tell you, I don't care for his tone. We're not his subordinates after all. Huh. He doesn't come across to me as like that. I mean, that. distributing the... The work sounded 100% okay to me. And we now, we talk and discuss. Shall we put our heads together on this? Hey, so we've been hearing talk about Kali Moo about Talo. He doesn't seem very popular, does he? They seem uneasy about him. He certainly tries really hard. But opinion is split between those who want to support him and those who feel anxious and question why he's the one in charge. Opinions on Talo's side. I'm also quite worried about how the colony seems to be falling out of harmony. Yes, I would echo Noah's assessment. Until now, everyone's teamed up under your leadership, just trying to survive. But now, I have no single fixed objective, and everything has been thrown into disarray. That's how it seems to me. People seem to be quarreling a lot more too. And I've been talking to Talo too. But everyone has their own opinions and feelings on the subject. What a mess. Everyone just wants to make the colony a better place, and yet, this is the result. 
things carry on like this, it might not just be Talo they start to lose trust in. Could be you too, Fiona. I don't mind if people talk badly about me. This all happened because of me, after all. I... But Talo's just been thinking about what he can do after what happened with Irma. He's been trying so, so hard. I have to honor those feelings, too. Are you okay, Fiona? Please don't push yourself to breaking. You've been giving me such good advice. I don't want to squander it. So, I don't plan on giving in. I want to overcome this, no matter how hard it gets. In other words, you want to survive. Yeah. What do you want to do? Shall we gather everyone to the square again? No, we already tried that. I think this time I'll go and talk to everyone myself. How about you do it in the canteen? You could probably bring things up quite naturally. Nobody will bat an eyelid. Ah, yes. The canteen. Thank you, Mio. It may be frustrating. But we'll be right by your side, ready to support you. The colony will get better, one step at a time. Okay, I'll do my best to make that happen. And now we're starting to face forward. Okay, approaching the canteen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Huh? Tallo? Sorry if I caught you mid-mouthful. Today, Shu and I have a little proposition for you all. And it's called a progress point card. And what's that supposed to be? Thank you for asking, Michaela. Since we don't have to fight anymore, I'm sure you've all been struggling for stuff to do. That's why we came up with something to solve that very problem. Take a look. This is a point... Point... Point program? Uh, progress points card. Yeah, right. That's the one. You already forgot the name of your own idea? Don't worry, it's simple enough that even a turkin head like him can use it. If you report to Tala every time you contribute to the colony or help someone or do whatever like that, he'll give you a point card and a sticker for every contribution you make. And what happens if we get lots of them? Then you'll become the lieutenant! Really? P pardon me? Did you just say? Wait, Fiona, didn't you know about this either? Th th this is the first I've heard of it. We figure that whoever contributes most of the colonies by definition qualified to be lo the lieutenant. I thought this could be the best, fairest way to pick a lieutenant and take some weight off Fiona at the same time. I know you've been worried about stuff with me as your lieutenant, Fiona. This is the least I could do. Oh, Tello. But still, this is pretty sudden. No need to look too hard about it. You'll do fine. You're always helping everyone out around the colony anyway, I say. You'll just be picking up stickers for it at the same time now. Stickers, huh? And we stick them to that card you got there? I bet it would look cute covered in stickers. Yeah, we designed it that way. Doesn't it motivate you to cute it up? Yeah, it sure does. That's our shoe. You know us so well. It's just like him to do his research. Resourceful as ever. Let's try it, Aya. It sounds like it could be fun. Besides, it doesn't seem like it'll be much different to what you do already. Also, I stayed up all night making these cards, so if you don't use them, I'll be proper sad. Well, if you s all insist. I've got high hopes for you, ISA. Is that a challenge? Come on now, play nice. <laughs> Everyone's not gonna be competing? This isn't gonna turn out well. You know how competitive little kids are? Shoot, do you mind if I have a card too? Huh? But you're our... I want to take part as well. You and Tala work so hard to come up with this idea after all. Alright, of course. Wait card. I'm sorry for not telling you beforehand. Tala was worried about getting you too involved in it since the idea was too easy your workload. It's okay, I understand. You watch, I'm gonna get a bunch of stickers. Well, this sure got interesting. Sorry, I don't really know what came over me. 
Don't even worry about it. Collecting stickers are, sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'm gonna kick all your asses at this. I think the point whistled past Lan's head. So we have to help out around the colony and then report it to Talo, if I recall. So anyway, let's see if we can get five stickers or so. How about it? Mission accepted. I wonder if there's anything we can do to help nearby. Let's hope so. Stickers, stickers, stickers. <laughs> stickers, stickers. Oh, so that's how they're stickers. doing. Okay, so I assume I just have to do things around the colony and then report to Talo. Okay, hey, Nico. So, like, Nico, that's me. Notice something at the recent fishy party. Raw food doesn't last for long. It all has to be eaten on the spot. And that even that's even if we're whole net loads of them to munch your way through. You're right. They really had to find some other foodstuffs. You thought about stockpiling a bunch of these preserved foods. I could tell you some simple things to make if you want. You do that for us? Sun, sun drying and preserving with salt? Well, we could probably do those. Nico, in other words, I, could start making the salt right away. Which then leaves the ingredients. Hmm. Now that I'm here, I may as well help with procuring the ingredients. Yay! You're an absolute lifesaver! Just make sure you bring anything tasty looking back to my place, okay? Okay. Wow, there's a lot to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... I'm just gonna be, like, looking around, trying to figure stuff out for a stickers. sec. Stickers. Got to get stickers. Got wow, to get stickers. talk about laser focus. Yep, they sure are. Aya, oh, yeah. is something wrong? Why do you ask? It's just that I don't see you on your own that often. You're usually always with someone, at least. Well, there's a girl behind her. Uh, I mean, even I have times when I want to be alone, you know? You've felt the same way before, haven't you? Like, for example, whenever you're feeling sad, what do you do, Fiona? Uh, go find in someone. I talk to someone I can rely on. Let them know everything that's on my mind. It helps me pinpoint exactly what's good and bad about my situation. <laughs> it's all about Irma when it comes to you, I bet. It... it is? That girl was so strong-minded and frank with her opinions. That's what made her so dependable, but she's not here anymore. I need to start getting myself together. Oh, I'm feeling much more refreshed now. Thanks for listening to me. Uh, are you better now? Yep, I can't not feel better when I see your smile. And on that note, there's one point for you. Congrats, I'll report it to Tala now. Uh, are you sure? I don't feel like I really did anything, though. Don't sweat it. I'll ultimately have to sort out my own feelings on my own, one way or another. Alright then, that's enough OP for me. I'm ready to get back to do my best. Okay, uh, what's- I just- Looks like Ayase's pepped up a bit. Yeah, I'm glad we could talk it out. Okay, what's going on over here? I have to wonder whether my outdoor armies are doing okay. Occasionally, I'll hear scared wails coming from them. They seem to be very on edge about something. Maybe something happened that put them on edge? It's enough to make you wonder, isn't it? I know, right? I suppose the best thing to do now is to go check up on them. You can just leave that to us. You've got things to do here, right? Y you're right. Thank you. Then I'll leave the armors to you. I'll send the location to your irises. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go back to Nico. I think I can give her something, I think. You wanted fish. Let me see if I have any fish that are suited. Um, which one was it again? Um, ten, okay, and ten. Nice. You've been such a mess of help. Thank you so much! Their foods go off easily when there's moisture around. Make sure that moisture doesn't get inside the stores. Nico hears you, loud and clear! We've still got ingredients to cut up and dry, don't we? Do you mind me helping out a little more? No need! You've got to look after the others after all, Fifi! 
And besides, if there's anyone can help me out with all this food smoking stuff, it'll be Hildy. I'll go ask her for help. Okay, I'll let you handle the rest then. You can count on Nico. I'll go ahead and report this to Telulu. You remember who Nico is, right? Okay. I hope this can be of some use to you. Hopefully. This is perfect. Why, wow, there's so many exclamations. Okay, so not Telulu. Hey, here's what we needed. Oh, you go losing that. Did I need something? Apparently so. Hello, Michaela. <clears throat> hey, is that a pennant? It is! It's my pennant! Oh, thank the flames for that. I've been looking for it for ages now. Oh, is that the thing I just picked up? I had a feeling I'd seen it somewhere before. So this is your pendant then, right? Yeah, I got it from Kana. She said it was a charm that calms your emotions. It's just great for me because I get tunnel vision anytime I get in a panic. I can't thank you enough, Fifi. I'll go report this to Talo. Okay, so there's also I'm some people we out to here. Pendant, right? Things you get from friends are always special. Ah. Okay, so I just gotta fight these things too. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I did not mean to use that art. <laughs> okay, I went ahead to kill those and walked around the island, and it seems there's a battle out here, too. <laughs> I thought I'd given you sharp big nuisance the slip. Perhaps you bird brains are a little less bird brain than your average turkin. Uh, these are gulkins, aren't they? Nah. Ghana. I hope we weren't interrupting your fun. Not at all. In fact, I think the really fun's just about to get underway. Gull kids. Oh, get em! Get em! Oh. 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 Topple. We don't have anyone who has a launch right now or days, unfortunately. I don't believe. Nope. <laughs> yeah, these guys are gonna get taken out really. Okay, took them out. Phew. Worked up a good sweat there. So did I. Except my sweat was cold. Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. And thank you for coming along. I'll go ahead and report our points to Tello. Tell me put in quite the shift. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do. Now then, I need to be getting back to point scoring. See you later, okay? Alright, okay, what do we have left? That was a close call. It I was. You got here in time. Okay, so there's something down here. What is this? Oh, more of these guys. Okay. Okay, now after killing all those little guys, we're gonna go ahead, talking back to Tesro. So, it was those monsters that were- oop, that were putting my armies on edge. God, they were attacking in hordes in order to expand their feeding grounds. So that's what it was. Well, I hope this means my darlings can relax now. Thank you for saving them from those horrible monsters. I'll go ahead and report this to Talo. Okay, and with that, that should be the last quest we actually need to finish this. So they give you a bunch of multiple options of quests to finish, and then you can go ahead and choose which ones. In this case, the ones I did were the ones I chose. Thank you. If you're happy with the amount of stickers you have, go on and show your car to shoe. We've got enough stickers now. I guess we should stick them on now. Oh, can I stick one on as well? Guess I'll stick them on this space here? I assume so. You do it like this, I think. Wait, how did this happen? Yeah, Tyon, why did you stick yours next to mine? Surely there were other places you could have stuck it on. You didn't have to crowd me. But, just put them in the correct order, see? Oh, what? We weren't just sticking them on wherever. Ugh. Ugh. What did I do now? 
<laughs> They're so funny. I like sticking them on this way too. It has a certain, uh, charm. I think so too. It's pretty cute. It's not about how it looks. It's about following the right pattern in order to... Oh, relax already. As long as they're all stuck on, right? It's great making memories together like this. She was in charge of telling the results, right? Let's report to him before we forget. Okay, hey, Shu. Excellent, good job. I'll get the overall scores tallied up now. Can you please wait a little longer until everyone else has returned? Oh, sorry. I'm pretty confident in my score. So is Nico. Oh, that me. I wonder who the next lieutenant will end up being. It's gonna stay as Tallow, probably. Sorry to keep you waiting, folks. Let me get right to it and read out the results. Winner is... Ayase, with a grand total of 999 points. What? 999? How the spark did you get that many? Wow, Aya, you're amazing! Uh, hold on, this can't be right, can it? And for our joint winner, we have Hildemarie, also with 999 points! No way! Kelsa got that many too! Oh, wait, what? I did! And for our next joint winner, we have Kanata, who scored 999 points as well! I think I could tell where this is going. I'm not done. For next joint winner again, with 99.99 points, we have... This has to be rigged, right? I must say, I have some serious concerns about these tally results as presented. I did say the idea was gonna give one point for every report. But it makes sense that you get one point for every monster you defeat, right? And if we did that, then it'd only be fair to give out one point for every flower you water in the garden. Are you serious? Turkey Tallow, you idiot. Oh, come on! We were counting so frantically! Uh, at some point, we got lost, so we just set all your points to 999.99. Well, they all worked so hard, we had to make the points reflect that. After all, everyone did stuff they didn't want to do, or that they weren't very good at. Anyway, this is getting old now. Let me skip ahead to the conclusion. As everyone got 999 points, that means everyone will now become a lieutenant. Really? Uh, are you messing with me? I can't be serious. So we're all lieutenants now? Come on in. It's all a bit of fun, right? So we still don't really have a lieutenant. We worked so hard to get those stickers, too. It was a lot of fun, though. I know, right? Whether it's fun or not is beside the point. What are we supposed to do now? She makes a valid observation. Yeah, but I get what Tal is going for. Let's not be too hard on the lad, yeah? See? Land's understood. If he always makes judgments based on his emotions, he'll always be wrong. Yes, now I see. Peas in a pod, you two. Huh? When did I start talking about vegetables? Oh dear. Knock it off, you guys. Hey, everyone, listen! This is a long quest. Thank you for everything you've done. It makes me really, really happy. You've always supported me and lent me your strength. But now I think I've gotten spoiled by that treatment, and that's why I was no good. What do you mean? I'm going to try harder to be a good leader to you all, even without a lieutenant. What are you talking about? You've already been working plenty hard. If I really have, then... Why is everyone feeling so disconnected? Well... That's not your fault, Fifi. No, it is. You're taking it easy on me, and it's caused you no end of anxiety. This colony doesn't need a lieutenant. It just needs me to get a grip of myself. I just said how you feel, Fifi, but... Are you sure you're ready? I'm sure. I need to make a change. So, do you mind looking out for me a little more while I figure things out? Of course, if that's what you've decided. We'll support you even more than before. We won't let you do this alone. 
Me too. You know I'll do anything for you, Fiona. Thank you, everyone. Well then, that's the plan. I just keep doing my best, it'll be okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's the end. Okay, that was a really long quest, though. But we still have time for one more. Some relationships okay. changed. Okay, as we have time for one more quest, let's go ahead and talk to Lotus, who has some information. Hello. Hey, look at this. Yep, that's a bit of broken wood, all right. No, really, look at it. Don't you find the shape interesting? If you polished it up all nice, it'd make a cool plate with a handle, don't you think? That's a really clean, broken bit of wood, huh? Though it speaks more chopping board than plate to me. Wait a minute. There's something written on it. Huh? Where? Oh, yeah, you're right. It reads, Need help. Where did you find this thing? On the hidden coast. All kinds of things wash up there. You know, if that was someone's distress signal... Maybe some other clues wash up on the beach? Let's go have a look. But wash the shore, okay. There's five little things we gotta find. So, I guess we gotta go to the hidden beach? Okay, here we are on the beach. I love the sea! Hey, is this another bit, maybe? Okay, he's just gonna say stuff. Sea. Yes, we understand Fiona, I think that's saying that. Alright, so we've collected everything, and now I assume we have to discuss. Okay, what washed ashore? Hey, we gotta talk. So, we have these three word pieces. Beat, res, and what. Then there's the need help piece that Lotus picked up. And less of all the random looking numbers. Hmm, could what come before res? What, uh, might mean water, right? Uh, the other two pieces don't even make that much sense to me. Wait, what if we put spaces in between some of these pieces? Put a space near the end of the thet to the... Then put a space in front of the other T, then we get the two trees, right? That sure sounds like a landmark to me. If so, then two trees can't be any old trees. There has to be something about them that would make them a landmark. All that's left is to figure out now are these numbers. I found an island that fits that description. I'm sharing it with you all now. Go, Tyon! Talk about quick. How did you narrow it down? All I did was input those numbers into my R's coordinate system. It's nothing to be that impressed by. I, I was thinking the same thing. That little grin you've got tells a different story. <laughs> You're not exactly great at hiding how you feel, you know. Stop staring at my face. It's creepy. Teasing aside, though, that was, like, seriously impressive. Now we can go help who sent the message. Let's head to where the coordinates are pointing to. We're about to find our two trees there. We now have a locked distress signal. Okay, here we are at Twin Palm Isle, and here we have a Nupon. Meh meh. I snow deceive Nira Nira. Other pawn come help Nira Nira. So you must have been who wrote the message on those wood pieces. Yes, it was Nira Nira who wrote message that float on sea. Must strike iron while new still hot topic. My favorite store. To Quicksand Island, a go-go. Hold on there, Furball. Did you say Quicksand Island? Is target destination of Nira Nira. Won't go there at all costs, is why Nira Nira sent message to sea. So then, it wasn't a distress signal after all. It was a call for help to find this island you're after. Was obvious from start. What else need help on message mean? Bro. <laughs> but why didn't you just head back to the continent yourself and ask someone to help? Because Tiny Boat near and near wrote on break to itty bitty pieces. So you did get shipwrecked then. I'd call that distress, Furball. Broken boats not cause for distress. Such thing only natural part of journey. Nira Nira, heed call of romance. I can't say I'm convinced by your reasoning, Nira Nira. Therefore, we'll accompany you to the island, concerning you've got no way of returning home anyway. Many thanks to friends. Now here come Nira Nira, Quicksand Island. 
We call these not are so map. funny. <laughs> I swear. Okay, here we are at the next location in Lavi Sandbar. What's up? This quicksand. No doubt this island that Nira Nira after. This is discovery that make feather of Nira Nira stand on end. Such thrill. Wait, no! What if you get caught in? Such romance! <laughs> Stupid furball. He's got some legs on him though, I'll give him that. Doesn't make it any less dangerous for him to be walking around on his own. Alright, let's chase after him. Oh, the, the way they all just like lower their heads like... Uh. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, heading up. Boy, uh, where are you going? Oh, didn't anyone teach you not to run straight from your parents? Oh god, he's gonna fall in. There's caves underneath this place. I did explore this place a little bit earlier when I was doing the... The, the Hulk quest that's over there, and I did fall through one of those holes, so there is a cave. Aha! There he is! <gasps> Nothing! Oh god, look at him go! Stop! Nira, Nira, in pursue! <sighs> Romance! <laughs> meh, meh. He literally ran straight into quicksand. We've gotta help him! We're pretty much knee-deep in this ourselves at this point. Gotta fall through the cave. God, where is that sound coming from? Don't worry, we're here to rescue you. Not to worry, oh gosh, and immediately we have to fight things because that's what was here. <laughs> oh man, okay. Uh, everyone start fighting. Okay, defeated them. That actually looked a little crazy for a second. Hey, Furball, what the Spock were you thinking? Ready to change to quicksand. You could have been killed. Meh, meh. Nira Nira so embarrassed. But embarrassment did not stop Nira Nira last time on island. Nira Nira not fell next time. Investigation must continue. Investigation? What are you investigating? Nira Nira after landmark that in risk of ruin completely. Nira Nira want friends not to stop Nira Nira in honorable pursuit. Oh, we weren't thinking of that. Believe me. Thank you, friends. In middle of island is Ferronis. We make next meeting there. Oh boy. Okay, came back up to talk to Nira Nira again. So, this is the landmark you've been wanting to see. Yes. As friends see. We too late to see Ferranus before destroyed by event of annihilation. Is this Ferranus special to you? Really, not all that extra special. Not so special, but near and near I still wanted to vanish off existence. I'm not sure we can do anything to reverse an annihilation event. This may be the end of its material existence, but it can still live on within you, Nira Nira. Near and near not understand. How can Big Ferranus be inside of Little Nira Nira? I don't mean the Ferranus itself, but its memory. You said yourself that you didn't want it to vanish, right? Then how about taking those feelings you have and doing something with them? Meh meh! Is this what Nira Nira think? Is this... Romance? I don't quite know if that's the right word for it. Nira Nira understand now. Much thanks, spectacle friend. Uh, sh sure. Though... No. Though no investigation of Nira Nira complete, there one more thing Nira Nira won't do. And that's thank friend who found signage of Nira Nira. You mean Lotus? Is that a name of friend? Would love to meet. Let me guess. Please to bring Nira Nira to friend. No surprise there. Still, I also want to meet up with Lotus. We have to thank her for helping us out after all. That's a good point. We all may as well head back to Kalimu then. Very much so. Okay, we're here talking to Lotus. Hmm. I wonder what wrecks or treasures I'll end up finding today. Thanks you, friend. Well, 
You scared the life out of me. Is Fred of Lotus? Is Fred Lotus? Was told Lotus was one who picked up message of Nira Nira. Nira Nira won't say thanks for that. You, you're welcome, I guess. Nira Nira might have jumped the gun there. Sorry to scare you like that. You see. See? Oh, well, I get it now. So you're the one who wrote the need help message? It's what Nira Nira said at start. It's thanks to Lotus that Nira Nira get help. Many thanks. <laughs> it's fine, really. I was a little excited about myself when I first found that sign. But shame about that annihilation event, eh? It must have really derailed your investigation. Oh, it's not derail. Viewings of ruined landmark is duty of Nira Nira. Before I forget to ask, what's all this business about investigations and duties? You see, friend, job of Nira Nira is to make world map. Oh, that would be useful. Only there's so many events of annihilation that keep on happening. And we're here to stop it. To make proper world map, Nira Nira had to travel many sites of annihilation event. Too bad you won't get a map of the city. So you're a cartographer then? I'd heard of Nopan doing surveying before. It would explain why they're so fixated on finding landmarks. But like, doesn't all that map making go to waste right after the terrain goes and changes itself up? Is it as friends say? When little piece of world fall away, little piece of heart of Nira Nira fall away too. However, as Specky friend taught Nira Nira, there's also things that never fall away. Huh? Stuff that doesn't vanish. Landmark and worlds that still remain. So Nira Nira continue to record landmark. Continue to battle event of annihilation. I see your logic there. Better to carry on with the positive attitude rather than bemoan about amending previous landmarks. Event of annihilation never erase romance of Nira Nira. I don't get what you mean by romance. What is it to you? To Nira Nira, it's sparkling feeling of thrills and excitement. Essence of romance is perhaps goal will never be achieved. Perhaps an end will have been meaningless gesture. But for brave with as in fiery sons of passion to try anyway, that is whole point of romance. Wowzers, I don't really know what you're on about, but I can tell you're real fired up. Yes, near and near fiery heart is over. Yeah, and when you get severed at piping hot delicacy, you just gotta do it justice and scrub it down before it cools, right? No, just totally get near and near. Near and near are so thankful. Um. I can't even tell if they're talking at cross purposes or not here. But it looks like Lotus understands near and near on the level of emotions, at least. The feeling that you don't know if what you will do will suffice, whether or not you'll make it. But you still try it with the passion of a thousand suns, anyway. Tyon, can you make sense of this? I can't quite answer that at the moment. But I hope that someday I can understand feelings like that, and be fired up by them the same way. <laughs> that was a cute side quest, actually. Even though it was very long. Okay, and that is going to be the end of this episode. So, this was a little side quest break, but next we're going to be doing some more ascension quests and a hero quest on the line. And probably some more side quests after that. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this playthrough. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Crypt underscore Agate. And you can also check out my second channel, Cryptos Laboratory. But until the day. next episode, bye for now.